Our Lady often repeats her messages because she's not inventing anything new. She's giving us the gospel, albeit with an emphasis or graces that are needed for a particular time. And so that's uh, the reason for some of the differences between our day and many years ago where Our Lady spoke. Uh, she's giving us the word that we need now in our time, as a good mother always would. So the theme that I see is her maternal concern for her children. Well, the daily recitation of the rosary is, I think, one of the most important things you can do. I recommend it to everyone because it is a powerful prayer for us to grow in holiness against the devil. You know, the devil can stick around if you pray the rosary, but he will take quite a beating. I think the reason the devil can't stand the rosary is because of the Hail Mary. The Hail Mary Every time you say it, 150 times in the rosary, it reminds the devil of his defeat, it reminds the devil of the incarnation, and it reminds the devil that Mary is his queen that he must acknowledge. He doesn't love Mary, but she still is queen and has authority over him. Uh, for us, the rosary is an important and effective prayer because the rosary is the prayer of the gospel. I mean, Hail Mary is from the gospel, and uh, the Our Father is from the Gospel. The glory be is not, uh, but it's praising God. And then the, the mysteries. So the way I, I've heard the rosary described uh, is it's a reflection of the Gospel or the stepping stones of the Gospel. My way that I like to describe it is Mary takes you by the hand and says, let me show you my son. Let me show you who Jesus is. So Mary, being our mother and the queen of heaven, what is she going to want more than for us to know who Jesus is and who better to teach us than herself?